that our rhetoric has to be uh, positive. Yes, Al-Aqsa is under occupation. We see it live with our eyes. We see it in Al-Aqsa and with the people in Al-Aqsa Mosque against women and uh, men. But, however, we have to be positive and we have to present our ideas positively because this is a Quranic, historical, prophetic uh, promise that it is a victorious issue. So then, why do we have to sound desperate and to sound negative? This is this is why we have to be uh, hopeful. We have to be positive. It was ours before. It will continue. When it went through from one prophet to another, as it came through Prophet Muhammad, and as we are at the beginning in 2022, we speak positively and we put our tawakkul on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will be will be soon we will soon be happy and and rejoice when al-quds and al-aqsa will rejoice when the new, the new starting and the new beams of the Ummah, which will be from uh, from this eternal, uh, this, you will see that uh, the Crusader remains do not exist, and the current Zionist occupation will not continue, and any future occupation, no one will stay, no injustice will stay in this country.